Today, we're talking about Uber, the Redskins, Ford, and more. Welcome to our new Evil Bits show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get going. Uber is on the move this week as they have announced a $2.65 billion all-stock acquisition of Postmates. Their original plan was to acquire Grubhub, but after that fell through, negotiations began with Postmates. The two companies plan to work alongside one another with drivers initially delivering for either platform, depending on where the order originates. Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi said, we're thrilled to welcome Postmates to the Uber family as we innovate together to deliver better experiences for consumers, delivery people, and merchants across the country. The Washington Redskins organization is starting to feel a lot more heat in regards to changing their name. Most recently, Nike has removed apparel from their stores while the team's stadium sponsor FedEx spoke up asking for a change. Even Pepsi is being vocal on the subject. There have been several concept logos and mascots released over the past few days to mixed reviews. In my opinion, the Washington Red Tails, a mascot honoring the Tuskegee Airmen, would be fantastic. Stay tuned for more updates. Amsterdam artist Baz Utrevik is bringing historical figures to life in a way that's never been done before. Using a unique program known as Art Breeder, the artist shows us what anyone from Billy the Kid to Jesus Christ would look like through photorealistic images. Utrevik has worked in visual effects for years and states the images are artistic interpretations rather than being 100% accurate and that Van Gogh is one of my favorites as it was hard work and took me around a year to create. Cool stuff, Baz. Do you take requests? News out of China as officials from Inner Mongolia have identified a person infected with the bubonic plague. This came on the heels of two additional positive cases earlier in the month, which led to a quarantine in that specific province. The notice came with a level three warning, which means that person to person contact is possible and precautions should be taken. The bubonic plague or the Black Death, if you're feeling optimistic, killed 50 million people in 14th century Europe and killed another 12 million worldwide in the 19th century. Thankfully, we currently have antibiotics to treat this specific plague. Classic car fans rejoice. The Ford Bronco is back with a lineup of options, including two-door, four-door, and sport versions. The vehicle manufacturer has been hinting at a Bronco resurgence for years, including a 2004 concept car, but now it's official. Ford hopes to compete alongside vehicles such as the Jeep Wrangler and Toyota 4Runner in the rugged off-road market. The new Bronco will include an electric powertrain, removable doors, and much more. Patrick Mahomes has signed a record-breaking extension with the Kansas City Chiefs worth up to $503 million. ESPN's Adam Schefter reported the 10-year extension will go through 2031 and include a $140 million injury guarantee, a no-trade clause, and $83 million in signing bonuses. The Kansas City QB led the Chiefs to their first Super Bowl win in 50 years back in February, as well as led the NFL in passing touchdowns, yards, and team wins over the last two seasons. This deal is the richest in all of American professional sports, just ahead of Mike Trout's $426.5 million deal with the Angels that he signed in the March of 2019. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thank you for tuning in to Bits. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.